I'm Jen and welcome to you. Happy Eating with Jen. I'm a gardener, I'm a mom, I'm a cook. Well, a home cook anyways. I love working with fresh vegetables and the bright colors and smells of things that I grow in my garden and putting those onto a plate and in my home. Come with me as we explore great things to fix for your family. Okay, so my potatoes are mashed and cooled some. Got our double zero flour here. And it doesn't look like a lot, but I think it's mostly supposed to be potato. So we're supposed to put this into that and knead just until it comes together. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to fold it in. I have never made gnocchi before. I love gnocchi. Gnocchi usually comes in two different kinds. There's potato gnocchi and there's um, ricotta gnocchi. I'm trying to keep it light, so I'm not sure we're smooshing it all together yet. I'm sort of incorporating the flour in. I don't know if that's going to make any difference. This recipe simply says potato and flour, and then I think the flavorings and seasonings comes later when you boil it in salted water. Okay, now I'm gonna to start to mush it and knead it, hopefully. And it says only until it comes together. I'm supposed to roll them into, but I don't think it's gonna roll, so I'm just gonna make ropes. We shall see. So I think it's gonna fall apart which may mean there's too much flour. I don't know. You know. Okay, so I've decided to add an egg yolk and see where this goes. So I'm gonna try to incorporate it in. So typically when making bread and things like that, if it won't hold together, then it's too dry. So maybe my potato to flour ratio was off. Again, I'm not trying to really, really super knead it, but I do need to be able to roll it out and make little coils, which... Now, the other thing I don't have is I don't have a gnocchi board. So a lot of times when you go to a restaurant, you'll see gnocchi have these little grooves on them. I don't have that, but I have seen a chef one time use a fork so I'm gonna give that a shot. All right, so I'm gonna try to make the grooves. Now I've chosen, I think I'm gonna use this fork because the spaces are a little wiser, wider and we'll see how that works. So you're supposed to, according to the recipe, cut it into little pillows, all about the same size. And then kind of like I saw chef do off I'm um, going so to try to off the back of the fork. And they get some grooves. And I don't know if that's working or not, but I kind of like it. A little flour on there. Okay. salt water, so a nice good pump of salt. So this is where I think the seasoning comes out on these. And then we're gonna do them in batches and um, put them in the boiling water and I will use um, a flooded spoon to get them out. So there goes nothing. It should take just a few minutes they said until they pop up to the top. We shall see. Just, uh, 
right, I'm going to give another 30 seconds or so. I'm going to let them drain. And then I'll go in with the sauce. Start getting those that are floating. Then I'm going to repeat with the second batch. And I'll let you know how it turns out. All right. I think it worked, guys. So now we're going to put them in the dish with a little extra pasta water and try to get everything seared up and happy. Slowly fold it all together. Let the gnocchi sort of cook in the sauce just a little bit longer. The asparagus and the sausage. Now, that part of the recipe, I just made that up. That did not come from the Pasta Granny's cookbook. Maybe a little bit more pasta sauce. And that's the only place I've added salt. Pasta is salty. Pasta water is salty. Those chicken sausages. Or sausage. They should be salty. Alright, we'll see how it tastes. Let's taste it. Potato gnocchi. Good. When I worked in the restaurant, um, we called them pillows of love. It was pillowy. Mm-hmm. Feels like a gnocchi.